What up, blockheads? Recently uh, did an unboxing and first look at this new helmet, which is the Atlas line of helmets from Rurock. This one, limited edition, 500 made. This is the Ronin model. So we're gonna be going over the, the Atlas. The graphic on the outside is the Ronin, but all of the other Atlas line helmets are going to be this basic, like this helmet. So it's gonna have, you know, vents here. It's gonna have the same visor. It's gonna have the ability to, you know, do the Bluetooth in the back and all that stuff. So doing a ride with it here, and I'm gonna be giving you guys like kind of my feedback about it while I'm riding with it. If you guys end up wanting one, basically after that, use the discount code blockhead at Rurox website, which I will drop the link down in the description below as well as right here on the screen. Um, yeah, you guys can get a discount off of any of their motorcycle helmets using the code blockhead. Anyways, roll the intro and uh, let's get to the ride. So I am on the Iron 83 today because it has taller bars, you know, it gets that camera angle like right here, nice and crispy. If it is a little loud, which I expect it will be, but you guys usually enjoy the sound of the exhaust. All right, so like I was saying, this is a helmet by Rurock. It is the Atlas line of motorcycle helmets, and this model is called the Ronin. They basically started coming out with these, or basically promoting them a while back. And so they're finally getting them all manufactured, getting them delivered, people are starting to receive them. So the first thing that everybody says whenever they pick up this helmet is, oh my God, it is crazy lightweight. And it is incredibly light. Even with the GoPro on it, even with the little brick adapter on it, still super lightweight. So yeah, this is my first time basically riding wearing this helmet hoping you guys can hear me because there's definitely a lot of wind flow inside the helmet now the visor amazing crazy clear the wind flow yeah it's definitely stays like nice and cool inside the helmet you've got some vents here real big vents styled after a lamborghini aventador vent here as well on note of lamborghini italian the shell of the helmet is made of italian carbon fiber or carbon fiber for those of you that don't care where it's from which uh, makes it incredibly lightweight. It is DOT and ECE certified, or DOT and ECE rated. So DOT is kind of like the bare minimum, ECE is the next step up, and then you've got Snell, which is higher up. In terms of fitment, the guys at Rorock said that it's meant for like an intermediate oval head shape. That's pretty much what I am, uh, based on all the previous helmets that I've bought, intermediate oval fits me the best. Fit. With all the padding basically as it comes from Rurock, uh, it feels real good in the neck roll. Uh, it feels real good in the crown. Um, I don't have like hardly any like movement. My cheeks are a little bit bunched up, but I mean that's pretty much normal until the uh, padding breaks in. I don't have any like shakiness or anything, so that's that's good. Uh, they did send me some extra padding just in case. I think you can actually order some extra padding. Looking over my shoulder, you know, to make turns and all that stuff. I can say that the peripheral vision on this thing is just absolutely huge. I uh, I'd put it on earlier and I was kind of seeing where my peripheral vision stopped and it's pretty much like 180 degrees in peripheral vision. Pretty awesome. Yeah, this visor is just huge. It may not look like it because you know you've got the kind of like the nose piece that comes up. By the way, it does suck that I had to put a GoPro on it. You know, I covered up like the mouth graphic. Here's a picture of it without all the GoPro and the stuff on it, but yeah, it's a shame that I had to cover that up. But in order to motovlog, you gotta do it, you know? So yeah, perks of the helmet, incredibly lightweight. It looks cool. The visor, absolutely huge, like I said. And I mean, your vision from here to here. So if I'm riding like this, I can see my tank. My tank isn't obstructing from the visor if you know I've got my head straight. And I mean, I can see like so far up ahead of me or like, you know, upwards. I don't have to, you know, turn too far in order to see behind me. I mean, like pretty much right here, you know, I can see the other lane pretty easily. In terms of loudness or quietness rather inside the helmet, the helmet is incredibly cool, like well vented. That does make it a bit louder. So that can be a good thing. But that can also be a bad thing, especially if you're wanting to take it distance. It's one of the things I actually brought up to the guys at Rurock. I'm going to stop for a second and talk about this thing because traffic is kind of back and forth. 
All right, so we're stopping. We're talking about this thing for a second. One of the things, whenever I met the guys from Rorock, is that they were really interested in hearing any and all of our feedback. So I did give them an absolute ton of feedback. The dude wrote it down and basically sent it back to their team. So that's really good. One thing to consider with this helmet, with the Atlas line, is it's their very first ever motorcycle helmet. However, Roark has been making helmets for snow for like 10 years, right? So the guys actually brought one of their snow helmets. I think it's more of like a modular helmet. You can use it for snow if you want. It's got the goggles and, uh, but then you can also use it for skating or cycling. It's kind of like a multi-use helmet. And the amount of detail that they had in that helmet from like the little tiny features of like where the goggles were vented to the magnetic clasps like that kind of went over the outside so the goggles don't pop off like where if you were to fall you know it hit your helmet and stuff the impression that i got was that these guys are very hungry right they're very like like really wanting to perfect their craft they've gotten really great feedback and reviews from the snow side so I wouldn't doubt that they're really planning on taking people's feedback and putting it into and refining this helmet to be a major contender in the market. The feeling that I got, I hope, I hope that's right. If you guys look more into the company, basically the people that run it are the people that use the product. You know, they're uh, snowboarders and skateboarders, you know, people that are in industries that they make the helmet for, which is really cool. I mean, that's, I, I feel like it's pretty kind of uncommon for a lot of like, you know, larger companies out there. So it's cool that they kind of have that lifeblood through their company, right? I'm sure you guys have read feedback uh, at a couple other places. I know there's been people posting up about some of the drawbacks to the helmet. Uh, and these are actually things that I brought up to the company as well. So the fact that you do have to have a tool in order to remove the visor, toolless visors are a huge convenience. So it comes with a tinted visor and a clear visor. But if I were to go to, you know, Ace Cafe and we hit up bike night whenever we ride over there usually it's uh it's light out but whenever we leave it's dark so if i forget that little tool i mean it's it's an allen key right so they might have it there but if i forget that tool and nobody does you know and i don't bring the clear visor then i've pretty much got to ride back with this or i've got to ride back with it open there's the two vents in the front which you can kind of see more like down here right unfortunately gopro covering them up but there's a little latch on the inside or a little switch which you can open and close at and what that does is the air comes in and then it goes up over the visor so that basically keeps it fog free a lot of focus on the visor on this one too right so fog free very good usually i won't buy anything that doesn't have pen lock but this thing isn't fogging up on me so i've I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of believing in the anti-fog that they're talking about, which is good. Thing feedback I have been reading quite a bit online is people having to use two hands to open this thing. I don't have to use two hands. That's one hand. They basically aren't as tight as I could tighten them down. So while riding, usually I like to kind of keep this cracked a little bit, and you can keep it cracked a little bit. So that's all the way closed. Latches down nicely. I don't feel any airflow when I'm riding in here. Usually I would have it like right there just so I can get some airflow. So we're going to start back up. We're going to ride a little bit more just so I can kind of tell you guys where the airflow is. Plus I'm getting a little warm, so. Time to go. Oh man, as soon as you start moving, you can feel the airflow. So I know I've said it already, but one of those things that I'm really just surprised about is how absolutely big this visor is and how much I can see. The wind noise on this thing, it is, it definitely needs the ability to like close or block off the vents here. The thing about it being incredibly lightweight is that, you know, you're going to have like thinner materials. It's going to be, you know, lighter, obviously, and thus it's going to be a little louder. That's kind of both a positive and a negative, you know, it's like if you're doing around town, not so bad. If you're doing distance, it would definitely be one of those helmets that you need like some plugs for because your ears would get fatigued pretty quickly, I imagine. After prolonged periods of wind noise, I mean, your ears definitely start to hurt. What are some things that you guys really want to know about this helmet? If I haven't addressed it, be sure to comment down below. Fitment, awesome. Lightweight, like crazy. Airflow, very good. This latch, sorry if you guys can't see it because of my beard, but this latch, the uh, fit lock, amazing. Just absolutely awesome, the fact that you know, you can take it off like click, you can put it right back on like click. And it's basically rated the same as like D-rings. And I have pulled on that thing from like every angle as hard as I could and it will not come off unless you pull that little red tab. It's just the, the angle at which it goes, the engineering behind it is really cool. So Fidlock, magnetic, awesome. So Road Rock, if you guys are taking feedback, which based on the guys being here, it sounds like you guys are and you want to, you know, perfect this product. 
here are my suggestions. The visor. The amount of like viewing area, amazing. I absolutely love how much I can see. My peripheral vision is not compromised. It doesn't take much for me to see behind me. However, the tool list definitely needs to be a focus, which uh, based on what the guys have said, you guys are already focused on that, so that's really good. You know, quick detach on and off. They do have multiple different visor options, so if you guys want to get like, you know, reflective, iridium, whatever, go to their site, check that out. Personal preference, there needs to be like multiple locking points, you know, instead of just like down, middle, and up. And then whenever it's all the way up, it needs to lock before it actually touches the helmet because you don't want, you know, for the visor after, you know, you're using this thing all the time. It's supposed to be your daily, right? You don't want that, you know, the finish to kind of start to get worn. The vents, I mean, they, they look badass. We do need to have the ability to close them just in case, you know, for, for wind noise and such. And then also, you know, if you live in colder weather and you're having to ride with this helmet, it's going to be pretty cold. Like, I know here, you know, with the other helmet that I have, I like to be able to shut the vents. And it doesn't get near as cold here as it does everywhere else in the world. I mean, we're in Florida. I think this year it got down to like 30-something degrees. So, I mean, we're not talking about that cold here. But even then, I wanted to be able to close the vents in my helmet. Now, I know a lot of people are asking for the Bluetooth review. Real Rock does have a thing that they're going to be coming out with. It's going to basically integrate right into the back of the helmet for, uh, for Bluetooth. Uh, it is not out yet as of me recording this. It's supposed to be out within the next, like, month. So whenever that comes out, I'll be sure to install it and we'll do a review on it. But from the looks of it, it looks like it should be pretty easy to operate. Plug and play-ish. And price-wise, it's only 150 bucks, which is pretty good for a Bluetooth. You know, there's a lot of them out there that are uh, quite a bit more expensive than that, especially for, like, quality ones. I'm not getting any fog. However, you know, after thunderstorms and stuff like that, I'll have to keep an eye on that. I'm going to do this. This is my first review, and I'll do a longer review, you know, like after using it for a while, just to kind of give you guys my honest thoughts and feedback, tell you what it's like. Normally, I would say pin lock because, I mean, I, I usually won't buy a helmet that doesn't have a pin lock option in the, uh, in the visor. But I'm not getting any fog in this thing, and it's pretty awesome. Like I said, there's definitely a lot of airflow, so I mean, that's a good thing. I almost forgot to give it like a, a good speed test too, right? Feels nice and aerodynamic. I'm not getting, you know, bobbling or anything like that, so that's good. The battery on the front camera is about to die, and it's dead. 60 miles an hour right now, so it's right around highway speeds. Are going 70, 80, you know, interstate speeds. It's gonna be even louder. And once I block these vents, it is crazy quiet. It's just, yeah, there needs to be the ability to close the vents on the sides. Just that little change right there will make a world of difference because the helmet already flows like a good amount of wind. Also, I forgot to note, but the uh, there's a chin area right here, and uh, they are developing a chin curtain for that. So that will be a good thing in the future. In my opinion, it's a really solid platform. It's a very solid start. The fact that it's so lightweight, ECE rated, you know, the vision in this thing is awesome. The design is cool. I've read a couple comments and there's actually some people that have talked about wanting to wear a helmet after they saw this thing that they didn't wear a helmet normally. So, you know, that's definitely cool. For somebody to like a helmet so much that it inspires is safety, you know, because at the end of the day, it is about safety. I know there's not a lot of uh, like helmet manufacturers out there that offer like really cool graphics. So if a rock can be one of those, then awesome. The other stuff that I've seen from them is actually really cool. So prices, not bad. I've gone over those previous video. And then after you use that discount code blockhead, you get, you know, that discount that actually drops that down quite a bit. Anyways, those are my thoughts and feedback, guys. If y'all uh, thought it was insightful, be sure to hit that like button. If y'all aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon while you're over there so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Once again, big thanks to Rorock. You guys be sure to go check them out via the link down in the description below. Until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.